Hey everyone, welcome to UK in Automate YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about WebDriver, what it is and uh, what is the architecture about it and how to start with WebDriver IO. So WebDriver IO is uh, API, WebDriver IO API which is built on top of Selenium. It has all functionalities of Selenium and it is written by using a JavaScript and it runs on Node.js whatever the packages or any API, any code which returns by using, written on Node.js or JavaScript that will be uh, running on Node.js platform. So why it is so popular? It is a front-end friendly, simple to use, open source and uh, it has the power of Selenium. If you look at the WebDriver.io community, it has a very good community support and uh, any queries, any issues, uh, there is a huge community support and there is already solved problems uh, which we can refer it and solve our challenges whatever we get it it is easy to use also right and it is front end friendly as uh, most of the uh, web applications uh, are written using javascript that's why we say it is a front end friendly and it is basically using a javascript which is uh, which runs in browser native so that's why we call it as a front end friendly Right. So what are the prerequisites required for uh, uh, WebDriver I.O. You just need a Node.js, uh, you just need to go to Google and install Node.js so that you will be able to uh, start with it. What types of application WebDriver can automate? All the modern web applications uh, which are uh, written in React, Angular, Svelte and other front-end framework and it can automate native and hybrid mobile application also uh, it can be executed in emulator simulator or real devices and it can automate desktop applications also to some extent and uh, next one is what are the different browsers supported edge chrome firefox safari and phantom js all supported by webdriver io so what are the programming languages it supports right so uh, javascript or typescript if you know any one language uh, whether javascript or typescript you can straight away start with the webdriver io even though if you are not sure about javascript how it is written syntax everything you can always refer my videos which i have uploaded so that you can learn javascript from the beginning to start with the webdriver io so next comes like what are the frameworks supported there are three uh, basic frameworks which can, which can be supported with webdriver io that is a mocha jasmine and cucumber so now uh, we talked about webdriver io why it is so famous what all supported now let's understand uh, webdriver io architecture how does it look like why it is so simple WebDriver IO is basically built by using a JavaScript and it runs on Node.js platform and by using a JSON wire protocol it directly interact with the browsers. So that's why it is having a simple architecture and that's why WebDriver IO is so popular and it is easy to use. So now uh, we may be thinking how to set up this WebDriver IO, right? So let's, let's start with the WebDriver IO setup and assuming that you have installed node.js from the google and it is already present in your system uh, this is the first command first step i need to work on that is a create mkdr any create any one directory with the name of whatever the name you like it i'm just going to terminal just going to terminal here I'm going to create one directory web driver io learning. Right. So I'm getting into this particular directory web driver io learning. First step is done. Now let's look into what is the next step. Right next one is you need to execute another command called npm init let's execute that also npm init so 
so it is whenever you execute this particular command it will ask different questions what is the package you want name you want to give so as of now i want to have i don't i want to have a same package name as the project name so i'm just hitting enter without entering anything and it is asking version let it be the same version but default version description i can give something testing uh, right entry point index.js yes let it be the same thing and uh, test command test command as of now i'll leave it blank git repository also i don't want to configure right now i'll just leave it blank hitting enter and keyword leave it blank author also leave it blank so license it is uh, set by default just hit enter so basically you no need to enter anything just keep entering uh, whatever the default values whatever it is uh, let it take the same thing and you just need to keep pressing the enter so in the final uh, call it is asking is this okay just press enter uh, okay yes it is done so this is how the file got created package.json this is the first step of uh, configuring web driver io package.json got created and it has all the details name version description scripts author and license okay uh, now let's see what is the next step and next one you need to install uh, web driver io command line so this is the command this is the package which you need to install to start with the web driver io if you go to web driver io official portal this there also you will get the same thing to start with the web driver io so i've just copied here to make to make a uh, job simple so i'm copying this and going to my terminal and pasting it it will take some while to execute to install all the packages with which are related to web driver io uh, cli okay so you need to wait for till it get executed cool it has done if you see here added 304 packages and audited 305 packages in 17 seconds okay it got uh, web driver io got installed here and the next step is we need to configure web driver io why this is required is to have some configuration file so here we can define different uh, commands which we want and different test cases we want to execute and uh, which browser we want to execute all the details we do configure in this particular file so that's why we need a configuration file configuration file will be created by using this particular command so i'm just copying this particular command and going to my terminal and hitting enter so here it is asking some details also on local machine yes it is my local machine and it is asking framework which framework you want to choose as we as we discussed like there are three types of framework mocha jasmine and cucumber as of now i'm selecting mocha and uh, it is asking whether you want typescript no as of now i want to work on javascript uh, what are your test specs located it is giving some default location so i want to have the test cases in the default location if required i will change it later do you want web driver to auto generate some test files you can provide yes just to have a look later we can delete uh, do you want to use page objects yes you want to build our framework by using page object model what are your page where are your page object located right it, let it be the default location okay and which reporter do you want to use as of now it is got uh, by default it got selected spec let it be the same thing in future whenever we want we can change it wait for let it be the same thing and uh, initially i want to work on chrome driver that's why uh, i want to add the service so for each so each browser each driver there is a separate service in the web driver io that will be installed as of now i want to use chrome driver that's why I'm, i want to install chrome driver service okay so i'm just hitting enter what is the base url as of now it is a local host uh, and anyway we are not going to use this local host let it be the same thing do you want to do you want me to run npm install just yes what this command will do is it will install what all the packages which we have added uh, till now 
it will just run a install command on that and so that all the packages will be installed in your machine okay once you hit uh, enter yes and hit enter uh, you will see all the things getting installed here if you see local runner mocha framework spec reporter chrome driver service so why this is required is to interact with the chrome driver we need this chrome driver service and uh, chrome driver also got installed so all the packages got added and if you just do ls here if you see here web driver web, web d sorry web driver io configure.js got created and uh, we have got package.json also let me open this particular file and showcase you how does it look you see here all the default things got added by web driver io only so here if you this is the test case location by default it got added and if you want to have any test cases excluded like that all the details uh, these are all the comments it's just for our reference to understand better it has given everything so it is that simple everything will be created automatically you just need to use that okay this is about wdioconf.js okay and uh, this i am executing in a mac os and if you are a windows user just go to uh, command prompt and execute all these commands commands will be seen okay so this is all about web driver io what it is and what is the architecture and how to set up web driver io and that's it for today uh, next class we will start the web driver io basic uh, very simple uh, test case how that works and uh, how to start with that we'll see it thank you